Hi everyone, welcome and a special thanks to subscribers on my YouTube channel. This short video shows an example of SLM close to my home in Scotland and it takes us to Africa too. Behind our house is a beautiful rugged mountain, Ben Fracky. We often hike up to the jagged peak. We went again this summer. The stars is gentle with sheep grazing in a field along the path. And honey being sold along the way. An example of local production and doorstep marketing. Out of the farmland, the path takes us up through a deciduous forest. Then abruptly we emerge into moorland and heather. And there's a warning sign of how suddenly the weather can change and how torrential the rain can be. As the path climbs, it's become eroded in places. And to make that worse, a diversion ditch has been built all wrong. It's draining runoff into a ditch alongside the track, and a gully is developing. But here's a diversion channel further up the path, which is far better designed. Here, runoff is directed into grassland and heather, where it safely spreads. That's good sustainable land management looking after the land to maintain and improve its functions. Well, roads and tracks are the same worldwide. Drainage problems, but opportunities too. Here in Uganda, a road drain has been cleverly channeled into farmland and is captured in a pond to irrigate bananas. And staying in Uganda, a Seri has cleverly diverted water from her path into her home garden. Stanley's pineapples are totally dependent on road runoff and they make him good money. Across the border in Kenya, Mushyoka has a very cleverly designed scheme. He captures water from a culvert that's a drainage pipe under the road that was causing massive erosion problems. He has a mango plot that benefits in this arid zone. We documented this with him and he was delighted to see his name in print and his skills acknowledged. We cover all of this in much more detail with rich illustrations and examples from all over the world in my course. Have a look for yourselves. Bye for now.